Hello everyone. Today we will solve the following trigonometric problem. Here we have a right angle triangle at Z, X, Y, Z. We have the angle Y, X, Z is denoted by alpha. The angle X, Y, Z is denoted by beta. The angle Z is right. The length of the side X, Y is two centimeter. And the length of the side X, Z is square root of two plus square root of two plus square root of two minus square root of two centimeter. We have to find the measures of the angles alpha and beta in radians. So let us start with our solution. Let's start with the angle alpha. Here we have, with respect to alpha, xz is the adjacent side, and xy is the hypotenuse. So we have to calculate cosine alpha, because we have the adjacent side with respect to alpha. Cosine alpha equals 2 adjacent side of alpha over hypotenuse, which is xz over the hypotenuse xy. But xz equals 2, this term, and xy equals 2, 2 centimeter. So cosine alpha equals 2, square root of 2 plus, etc. over 2. Here, it's difficult to deal with cosine alpha to find the exact measure of the angle alpha, because the form of cosine alpha is very complicated and have four nested square roots in its expression. So maybe we will use cosine to alpha. Then we have to find cosine to alpha. Cosine to alpha is equal to two cosine square alpha minus one equals two into, this is cosine alpha, all square and minus one. Here's a square, we'll cancel out this square root. So we will have two plus square root of two plus square root of two minus square root of two, this term, and here we have over four, but here we have two, so we can cancel two and two to get in the denominator two, and here we have minus one. We can write minus one as two over two, so it will be here two. Then cosine to alpha equals two, this term. Then we can cancel out two and minus two to get cosine to alpha equals square root of two plus square root of two minus square root of two all over two. Then in cosine to alpha, we have three nested square roots. So either cosine to alpha cannot be used. So we will have to find cosine of four alpha. We have cosine of four alpha equals to two cosine square of two alpha minus one equals two into, this is cosine to alpha, all square and minus one. Then after simplifying this term, we will get cosine four alpha equals to square root of two minus the square root of two all over two. We have two square roots, then we have to calculate cosine of eight alpha. So cosine of eight alpha equals to two cosine square of four alpha minus one. Then cosine of eight alpha equals two into, this is cosine of four alpha, all square minus one. Here we can cancel the square with the square root to get two minus the square root of two all over four but we have two in the numerator. So this term will be two minus the square root of two all over two. And here we have minus one. Here two over two is one, and here we have one minus one. So we can cancel out this term with minus one. So we get finally cosine of eight alpha equals to minus the square root of two over two. We are familiar with this number. So we will use cosine eight alpha to calculate the exact measure of the angle alpha. So cosine of eight alpha equals two minus the square root of two over two. But we have alpha is between zero and pi over two. It's an acute angle. Here cosine of eight alpha equals two minus the square root two over two. So eight alpha will be inverse cosine of minus the square root two over two, which is three pi over four, 135 degree. Then cosine alpha equals two minus square root of two over two will lead to eight alpha equals two three pi over four. So eight alpha equals three pi over four, then alpha will be three pi over four multiplied by one over eight. Then alpha will be three pi all over eight times four, which is 32. But here we have the angle Z is 90 degree. So alpha plus beta is equals to 90 degree, which is pi over two then beta will be pi over two minus alpha, which is pi over two minus alpha is 
3 pi over 32, which is equal to 3 pi, 13 pi over 32. Therefore, alpha equals to 3 pi over 32, and beta equals to 13 pi over 32. Thank you for your watching.